Um, I wanted to follow up on a question I asked you in September. In light of the Chinese spy balloon incident, does this administration consider Chinese land purchases near U.S. military bases a national security threat? We uh, uh, are always concerned about potential foreign collection near or around uh, our military sites. And you're right. Last week is a good example of that. Um, we take uh, that seriously, whether that's terrestrial related uh, or whether it's uh, uh, from uh, from the air. And I think I'll just leave it at that. Would you be working perhaps with Congress to put in place legislation to prevent that kind we of ownership? We are always willing to work with Congress uh, to, to address our national security interests and, our, and, and threats uh, as best we can. Thanks, Kareem. Uh, thanks, Admiral. So, uh, may, uh, thank you, Kareem. Uh, Admiral, just real quick, is there a timeline for recovery of this object? You'd have to talk to the Pentagon. I don't know. Again, guys, this just happened within the last now hour and a half, and uh, and they're still assessing uh, where this thing landed and and the degree to which they can get to it. And on the Poland visit, uh, I know in the statement that you put out, Karine, it says that the president is going to meet uh, with leaders of the eastern flank NATO countries. Are any other European leaders, NATO leaders, expected to join the president? on this trip. We're still putting the agenda together. The pr predominant reason to meet with them, the Bucharest 9, as you call it, is, is to really talk to those nations who are literally on the the, the, the eastern flank of, of the NATO alliance. But I can't rule in or rule out that there may be additional attendees or additional meetings that the president might have. Thank you very much. Um, 